Yes, good day everybody. Welcome to Melakoy Believer. I hope you are doing great. So welcome to another episode of my uh, that's my face and on this channel, okay? And if you've if you've been following the channel from the beginning, you observe that from the first like first 10 plus videos meaning my voice which is Samsung Diwali and on the, on the video of those speech, I actually had a different voice was the voice of a lady Holy Spirit is basically God's spirit that is the spirit of God the same spirit that works through Jesus and the one Jesus promised us in John chapter 14 verse 26 but the counselor the Holy Spirit whom the father will send in my name Name was Deborah, so my wonder, wow, who is this lady? Who is she? What, what, what does she do? do? You know, Sam, are they siblings? etc. So, in this interview video, I'm going to just tell you she is and just interview her because of yeah, let us, let us start by give her the, uh, the chance to interview herself to set interview to to, 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 to make to make herself known to us personally. So, over to Deborah. Good evening everyone. My name is Olani Rodebura. I am a Christian and I'm a melancholic believer. Okay, yeah, that's good to hear. Okay, that's good. Thank God for that. Okay, so Deborah, we may ask now. I think you're one of my channel's first viewers, which I knew personally as well. Okay. So you may ask now, how do you find it about the melancholic believer? And um, what were your first thoughts when you when you saw it? What was your first thoughts? Actually, when I heard about the melancholic believers channel i was really happy and excited because i've been wanting to understand more about being a melancholic and i found it as a very great privilege and opportunity okay well that's good to hear that's good to hear as well thank you for that that's good to hear okay so i had to learn about temperament that was last year as you well. last year i think it was around march or later as well. i can't remember i don't remember the exact date as well so I actually felt leading to start a YouTube channel this year, January to be precise. Because I actually read the book that's Spirit Control Temperament. And that book actually helped me a lot as well. So and I believe that since I get since I got help by by Google as well, I should also help others as well. That's why I decided to start the, you know, the channel as well. And you know, help others as well with my personal experience and because of I felt that most people like that temperament of being a melancholy is very very complex, you know, it comes out of challenges and difficulties as well. So I believe that we need guidance as well, okay? And I tried and uh, there are channels online as well, about as well, but some of them are not by melancholics, okay. Some of them are just like reciting test books, reciting books, what they are, what they said. Okay, so I believe that as a melancholy, I can actually share my own, you know, personal experience and but I've all got the help me to come as well. So that's why we made the channel as well. So my ask now it's from you, Stadipura. Um, you personally, have you, when do you hear about it, about temperament? Is it like, have you heard about it for a long time or just maybe when you saw the channel or how did you care about it and what was your first reaction to, towards it and do you believe in it? Are you like, it's, it's wrong, it's true, it's not true? What was your first thoughts about it as well? The first time I heard about temperament um, was while I was in senior secondary school so our civic education teacher gave us a project to write on the different temperaments but my group were not aware before the day of the presentation so we could not really work on it but we gathered some information and while they were discussing all the temperaments they kind of tagged the melancholy in a kind of bad light like they are angry people they have mood swings anyhow and all of that like they can be happy this time and the next minute you find them they are sad they are they can be aggressive and all of that so i thought hmm, i cannot be someone who has this temperament no i shied away from it but when i got to university and we were discussing something about temperaments i am my friend and i told her that probably i would be phlegmatic or and she was like no i don't think that that will be my temperament that i should read spirit control temperament and i read the book and i found out that i was a melancholic and i had to 
you know, put effort together to accept myself being a melancholic and I believe in the temperament because it's practical like it's just as if you are seeing yourself like it's just too practical not to believe it it's very real yes so that's what I would say that's how I found out about the melancholic temperament okay Deborah thank you very much for that I appreciate that I appreciate for your sincerity and for that illustration I can I relate that as well because I didn't know about temperament for a long time as well. I learned it a bit late. Okay. So when I learned that I was kind of absorbed in it as well. I was like, well, let me just no 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 know a lot as well. So taking the melancholy for a for a for an example now, I think for a bit let's say it for for a case study now. I think for the fact that it has a lot of weaknesses, so people are kind of like kind of like liberal as if the bad temperament as if the bad temperament as if these people they are like bad and terrible as well and i don't think that's old and that's true okay because they actually have a lot of gifts and talents as well although most times due to the fact that you know in life we tend to like show our past side more than good side at times so most we kind of like see the bad side more than the you know, more than the good side as well okay so and one point is that people people tend to shy away from it like tends like hide from it tends like all these kind of like i don't they just like deny it as it, they won't say okay this is why and they, they find it hard to believe this as well so and once about once one thing why it makes it interesting because of you know your, your melancholics are good at they are very, very very good actors so you can actually pretend you're not temperament you can actually like act phlegmatic act choleric act sanguine act like a sanguine meanwhile at the base of all their temperaments is just being melancholy okay and i believe that we know it's not just just by just just know i'm so this is who i am and this one must be forever i believe we have to know to just know our strengths weaknesses and how to let let those spirits as that book says speak on the temperaments how to let god you know help us out of our weaknesses to become perfect in christ okay so at a diary get the night thank you for that as well okay okay so Let's take me to the next segment, which is called um so far about the Mercury Believer, you know, trying to accept for a while now and I've published about over ten, 10 videos now. Okay, so in which we have been personally helped by the videos, is it that I don't mean like personally helped by them or they're just like maybe what you've seen before or they feel new and refreshing to all or just your take on them as well. The videos on the melancholy believer are really helpful. Even though it's something that I may have learned part of it before, but it comes in a new way, like it's, it comes fresh. You know, that's what only God and the Holy Spirit can do. Something you've heard before, but it comes in a way that it's actually touching in another dimension. So it may actually even meet a situation on ground. Like um, one video that I watched, The Concertius Believer, it really blessed me. Like it met the situation on ground it helped me to to in fact make a major decision that i wanted to do at that point in time okay yeah that's good to hear the bro i really thank god for that i i thank god because god has been doing abundantly before more than i asked because of you know it's, it's beyond me just god and ugly bit him as well okay so yeah about that as well i think that's actually that's very true because one thing in life is just that whenever we are doing things that are even let's say of the world like in terms of example now some things are not when i mean war i don't mean like maybe seen or yeah or just seen in general okay i mean things like that actually concerns both those who are in christ and those who are not in christ because this issue of temperament now it actually it actually connects both those in christ and not in christ because of someone that is not born again can come from phlegmatic so born again you can still have that same trait as well okay so but the fact but when you now so when you know when you now involve god in your matter it's it's different it's, it's more it carries life as well for example there is pastor in the u.s whose name is called joe austin he was on that actually preaches he preaches a lot and his messages are kind of very, very encouraging message and may sound, may sound like a motivational speaker yes may sound like that as well although as that most of these speakers what they see that if they don't carry life it was like what that make you smile and make you feel happy or like okay yeah, this is very smart and this is very wise but yet they're, they're kind of like abstract meaning that you can't like leave them out of your life as well 
for this man, for what is actually a picture of Christ. So he's actually just kind of carrying life beyond what a normal teacher would say. And that was I just believe is happening as well because of I do pray if I you know if I post videos and I do pray for God's just wisdom and knowledge as well, okay. So and I thank God for that as well, and I've been, I'm very very happy to hear that as well. That's a good feedback feedback as well. And I thank God for channel that has grown it has grown like from zero subscribers to now. I think I'm I'm currently at 40 now, and I thank God for that as well. So and um, that will be where we're going to round up for now. And I hope to have you more uh, more with me on this interview session. The brother by God and thank you very much for knowing my invite as well. So. That's just all for now as well. I thank you very much for your time and, and sincerity as well. So that's it, that's it for today's video guys. I really hope you learned something or one, one or two things from my interview and I hope to also have my interview as well with others as well because this was the first of many and I believe it's the first of, of great things as well in this channel as well. Okay? Because it's actually a community, not just about me speaking my mind but because of the actually concerns, they actually concerns a lot because of we are Christians. In, we also we are Christians as well. That's like I call it melancholic believer, as believers in Christ. But yes, these are temperaments. still have some issues which can affect our work with God as well. Okay, so and God willing, I trust that God will help us to get better because of if we do not overcome some weaknesses, we won't, you know, be able to work with God perfectly well. Okay, and also even our strength as well, we have to like let God be our be our leader because so much you say okay this is this, this my talent i put at it they will now like throw a god factor as well and it is not right okay so that's all for now and i hope you learned something new so let me know your thoughts in the comments as well and yeah one thing the brother was the one who who talked the last video with what this as well that i just, I just had to say it as well because of i had the code back then i was having cat cat and code and all these symptoms as well so i could not record always my god most have been not great loving terrible or oh, it should be like that as well so that's just that as well so thank you very much guys for your time and i say god bless you god loves you stay safe so yes the brother that is that's all for now thank you very much for i appreciate you very much for your time the interview i thank you for your sincerity as well i hope to see you more often on the channel as well as always and i and i yeah and thank god for that as well okay so thank you very much for being the f- our first for our first interviewed person on channel thank you very much for that thank you very much god bless you bye so good night and stay and yeah stay safe and don't pray don't forget to pray for your sleep as well thank you very much god bless you Amen. <laughs>